Hello guys, let's talk about struct versus class in C-sharp. So, class is a reference type and struct is a value type. This is the primary difference. Class objects are stored on the heap and struct objects are stored on the stack. Heap and stack are the memory regions. Stack is used for instant access, it is very fast, and heap is used for storing larger portions of data. So, class objects are stored on the heap, so the content of the objects will be stored on the heap, and there will be only a reference to that object stored on the stack. Struct objects are stored on the stack. This means that the whole content of the object will be stored on the stack, on the stack for struct. Class objects are deallocated by garbage collector, and struct objects are deallocated when the stack is cleaned. So class objects are stored on the heap, and the heap is cleaned up by the garbage collector automatically. Struct objects are are stored on the stack. So to understand how the stack is being cleaned up, we need to understand how the stack works. So stack always stores a reference to the top of the stack. For example, if we are, in, if we are invoking a method and we are in, initializing a new object, which is a struct inside of this method, then the pointer to the top of the stack will be moved up to point directly at this newly allocated object. After the method has finished, the pointer to the top of the stack is being moved back down because this variable is no longer needed. Everything that is above of the pointer of, to the top of the stack is being considered as unallocated memory and will be overwritten in the future. This is the way that's, that the data contained or stored on the stack is being freed up, uh, removed. So class objects assignments copy the reference and struct objects assignments copy the entire object. Let's see what it means on a practical example. Okay, so here I have a public class person which has a uh, only one field of type string called name and a constructor which takes in the string name and initializes the field name with the value passed in. Then I have the person struct struct uh, which has also only one field name and has basically the same constructor. So what does it mean that assignments of classes pass reference and assignments of structs pass value. Here I have an example. I am initializing a new variable person with a new person and I am giving in passing into the constructor the string mic. Then I am initializing a new struct with the name John. After that I am initializing a third variable called new person and I am assigning the person to it. So person is an instance of a class person. After that I am changing the name of this new person to changed. What I can see right now is that the change, changing the new person's name has also changed the name of the original person because person has the same reference as the new person because this assignment didn't make a copy of the person but just copied the reference to this object. So every change that I am making inside the new person objects object will be also reflected in the person object because under the hood it is the same object. It has we, we only have two variables which are pointing to it. That is the only difference. So when I run this application, I see that I use the console write line to output the person.name value and it is changed. Even though I haven't changed the person.name value, I have changed the new person.name value. But new person and person has the same reference and that means that every time that I change the new person, the person has been changed also. This doesn't work the same way for structs. For example, if I initialize a new person and assign a person struct to it, then I can change the name of this new person to changed 
and it will change only the name of the new person because when assigning the person struct to new person I am assigning a copy of the struct object, object not the reference to it. So when I am changing the name of the new person to changed the person struct object's name won't be affected by it and I can check it by using also right line and now putting the person struct name and it will still be John it won't be changed class objects are passed by reference and struct objects are passed by value let's see what this means on a practical example so I have added a new static method modify name which takes in a person object and changes the name of this person to changed after that I am invoking the modify name for the person object with a name Mike and I am using the console right line to output the person.name value and it is changed. The reference types are passed by reference so I have passed a reference to the person object inside the modify name method and since this person object is passed by, by reference when I am modifying the name of, the, the, of this person object the change will be visible outside of this method. It won't work the same for structs. I have modified the modify name method definition, so it will take in a person struct this time. I am invoking the modify name method, passing in the person struct, and I am using the causal right line to output the name of the person struct. As you can see, it hasn't been changed. The, per the structs are passed into methods by value. So when I am passing in to the modify name method the person struct, I am passing a copy of it. So the object will be which will be changed inside the modify name method is a copy of the person struct object. So I, I am modifying the copy and the original struct remains the same. As you can see it is still John. So the question arises, when to use structs? In real world scenarios we only use structs when the object is very small, when the object is immutable so it cannot be modified after initialization and the object has no reference type fields so it stores no references to other reference type objects. I hope that this quick introduction to structs and, and classes has helped you to understand the difference between them and I hope to see you soon.